The registration process to use the first Pharma K209 helicopter imported into South Africa and in fact into Africa as a training helicopter took quite a few months. To tell us more about registering and declaring this unique helicopter airworthy in South Africa, we are talking to the South African Civil Aviation Authority's Senior Manager for Aircraft Certification, Shubash Devkaran. Welcome, Shubas. Good morning, Marisa. Shubas, um, as I understood from the owner, this helicopter was not even on the databases of the South African Civil Aviation Authority when they tried to register that. How is this possible? How, what, what happened there? As you may probably be aware, aviation is quite a highly regulated um, Air sector in, in transportation. In fact, it's a most um, stringently regulated sector for obvious reasons. Um, and, and for that reason, we have in place very stringent regulations governing any new type of helicopter or aircraft coming into South Africa. And as the South African Civil Aviation Authority, we pride ourselves on maintaining the highest levels of aviation safety internationally. It is our goal. We value the citizens of the country, and in that regard, we enforce the highest levels of compliance. In terms of the acceptance process and the registration process of any new type of aircraft, there are a number of requirements which, which need to be met. For this particular helicopter, the Pharma K209, what we have observed is that it is an Italian uh, kit-built uh, helicopter. It is manufactured or rather the kit is manufactured in Italy and it could be assembled by an amateur builder anywhere in the world and in this case it was assembled in, in South Africa. The assessment process leading up to that determination involves a number of documentation and assessments and of course to maintain the high levels of safety a thorough review is necessary. Now, you then had to, I guess, start a process to get it onto the computer system. Did you need to design a new category, new standards to test this computer, uh, this helicopter against? Marisa, this particular helicopter does have uh, a number of innovative features. Um, however, our systems are geared up to cater for any new type of helicopter or aircraft coming into the country. So in this regard, we look at our aircraft registration system. It's completely accommodating, as well as our pilot licensing system. What is perhaps uh, a requirement in this instance is because it's a new type of aircraft on, on the register, we would require pilot training but, uh, performed by the, by the manufacturing facility. This is obviously to ensure that the pilots who perform or, or train the South African pilots actually meet the necessary standards. And of course, the, the manufacturer of the aircraft would know best in this regard. When it actually came to flying the aircraft with a qualified pi South African-based pilot. There apparently was no pilot in South Africa. How did you overcome that challenge in order to get the aircraft or the helicopter declared airworthy and legal in South mm -hmm. Africa? In fact, that's, that's quite a pertinent question. Um, one of the challenges which every state such as South Africa is faced with when importing a new type of aircraft into the country, such as the Pharma K209, is who is going to fly this helicopter or who is going to fly, fly this aircraft? Um, and especially in terms of that particular person meeting the requirements as it's prescribed within our regulations. And there are a number of technical requirements in terms of experience and formal qualifications. However, we accommodate such um, requests from applicants through means of an exemption process where for this first type of aircraft, one may not have the relevant experience. However, they have experience in a similar category or type of aircraft, um, such as uh, R44 Robinson or R66, as an example. And using that base of experience, together with the instructor's qualification, we grant an exemption so that they are able to undertake the factory training at the manufacturing facility be granted a rating in South Africa where after they are able to uh, undertake this training for other South African citizens without those citizens physically going to the factory themselves. 
-hmm. This is a very formal and, 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 and technical process in which we, we perform a safety assessment of the exemption application to ensure that, of course, safety is not compromised. Yeah. And um, now, finally, the aircraft is registered. What kind of registration does it have and what does this now mean? So this, this particular type of helicopter um, is categorized currently as an amateur built aircraft. And this is because the manufacturing facility, which is based in Italy, produces kits. And this is perhaps very, uh, a, a very positive uh, factor in this case, mm -hmm. in that the manufacturing facility which produces these kits releases these kits to kit builders all around the world. And it's true also in South Africa that a kit builder could then assemble this aircraft and apply for registration as well as an authority to fly to perform his own recreational purposes or, or, or uses rather. Um, and further, if the, the, the applicant in question wishes to pursue the, the certification processes so that he could utilize the aircraft for more commercial operations, that is certainly a possibility and we have processes in place. However, the requirements are a lot more stringent in that regard.